Hey, Joe, how are you? You're watching a very special reunion. I didn't know whether I was ever going to meet my recipient, and I was just thrilled that uh, we could get together. Doug came into Jack and Adele Burns' life in 2010 when Jack, who has diabetes and high blood pressure, needed a new kidney. Adele wanted to give him one of her own. I wanted to have my husband around, and I knew that we didn't have a lot of options. I was grateful. Um, to have someone that loves you that much. But Adele was not a good medical match to her husband, so they joined a live donor kidney exchange program. She donated one of her kidneys to a suitable recipient, and Jack got a kidney from Doug. It's different from getting an organ from a deceased donor. If somebody brings a living donor with them, then they have a great chance of getting transplanted sooner. With support from the National Science Foundation, Harvard University economist Al Roth helped develop a suite of computer programs that match living kidney donors with recipients. You look for ways to arrange those exchanges so as to get as many of them as possible. So what's an economist doing organizing kidney transplants? Turns out an understanding of game theory and market dynamics is key to optimizing the pairings. If you're trying to organize exchange, you need a marketplace and a clearinghouse, and that's what we tried to help our surgical colleagues uh, put together. The software is comprehensive, matching participants with compatible blood types and antibodies. Think of it as a medical version of Match.com, linking donors and recipients, making chains of transplants possible across the country. Game theory turns out to be a giant thing for thinking about big systems in which there are lots of different incentives. And, you know, the care of patients with kidney disease is a perhaps $100 billion a year industry. It's all about streamlining complicated matches using the science of the marketplace. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.